hey everybody welcome to this tutorial today i'm gonna uh, show you guys how to make a flow that looks like this okay so okay let's dive straight into it the first thing we're gonna do is well uh make a no sorry make a flow so we're gonna need a plane just stretching it out a little okay then we're gonna go to IPR window this window is a is a render preview window that Arnold uses so that when you put things to your scene like lights and uh, shaders and textures you can see whatever work is going on alright so the next thing we're gonna do is just open that window but as you can see nothing is really going on here that's because we don't have a light on our scene okay so uh, for this uh, scene, I'll use a uh, sky to light it up. So we'll go to plugins, Cinema 4D to Arnold, and then load an Arnold sky. Just like that. You see, we already have a we already have some lighting going on, but I don't like this lighting because it looks evenly lit from all angles. It looks so constant. Okay, plain. So what I'm going to do is I want to add an HDR image to this sky. So to do that, uh, we're going to come to this small triangle and just click here so that we drops down and change the value type from constant to texture. All right. So once it's at uh, texture, we notice we have a slot here for us. Now we can insert a a HDR image so let's open I use this Brooklyn Bridge planks ENV open and just like that you notice everything has changed it looks way better and you can see the the HDR image on the background okay all right okay so uh, I got that HDR image from uh, from hdrlabs.com this Brooklyn Bridge it's free to download you can download it from there the free HDR I images okay so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, since we already have our light uh, let's put a texture on this flow so to do that we're gonna go to create Arnold surface standard we're gonna use a standard shader okay as you can notice uh, it's black here we don't have a preview for the shader this is because Arnold uses most of its render power on the IPR window yeah so well if we close this I think it should update maybe they'll work on that in the future so let's open back let's go back and open our IPR window okay so let's take uh, let's call this a flow flow all right so let's take our standard shader and drop it onto the flow yeah so let's insert a texture onto this standard shader you will notice on our diffuse channel we don't have a slot or a window we can use to open up and load an HDR image well for Arnold, Arnold it works different what you need to do is go to the network editor open up from there and you'll find this standard already here shade already here so what I'm gonna do is just pick the text I need to use like this diffuse image that I've called I've named diffuse you guys are gonna get uh, all this is in the on the description there's a link down there you can download I got this from a uh, from a solid angle support page for the support page for Maya okay so I'll just take this come and just drop it here okay then I'll drag the output drag and drop on this blue spot once you drop it you'll see a main menu go there diffuse color right 
let's see this should update here should update here it's rendering yeah there we go okay so the next thing we're going to do is uh we need to have some diffuse all right let's just we need to have some diffuse let's you see there's no the surface is dull okay uh sorry not diffuse uh let's have let's have some specularity okay we are done with the diffuse so to add some specularity we'll just go back to our network editor all right then let's get our specular specular texture drag this and just drop it here yeah but this i'm gonna connect it from out here then specular color right and then again i want to connect it to the specular weight out here specular weight you notice this change now we can get some reflections but you notice it's it's oh, it's, it's too much it's so much so we need to reduce the weight of the specularity uh, so let's go to our network editor and just click on the standard okay specular let's uh let's work let's decrease this roughness it's it's a little too high let's make it uh mm, let's make it somewhere there let's see how it looks like yeah that looks nice but now we we are lacking something here uh for this to look uh the specular to be properly distributed uh we need to put on the fresnel yeah it's already coming it's already looking the way we want it to look like okay let me just move around and see how it looks like let me see it from this angle well looks nice to me zoom in a little just looks nice to me yep so uh the next thing we're going to do is we need to add some bump texture to this flow and for that well, what we're going to do is we need to make a bump shader let's go to surface bump 2d drop it and drag it in here okay so how this works is everything here has to pass through the bump then the bump will be connected to the anal beauty so that we can see whatever is going on here so the way to do this is just go from let's reconnect this here from output to input okay then let's connect it to shader all right then let's take this output now to go to the beauty so that this link is no longer there okay well at the moment we can't really notice anything because we haven't used the bump texture yet so let's just put this somewhere there so let's bring in our bump texture <coughs> sorry mm -hmm. let's bring in our bump texture there and just drop it here okay so let's connect it from the out in main bump map okay let's hope that's gonna update here there we go we have now some nice looking bump all right this looks okay to me now let me just close this for a minute see how it looks like looks nice let me zoom in a little on the flow let me zoom in a little on the flow 
push it a little back yeah it looks nice okay you notice uh, this texture the the diffuse texture is a little dark so I want to just lighten it up a little and make it a little more lively so we'll just double click here and open up our network editor okay so what I'm gonna do is I wanna color correct it a little just color correct the texture so what I'm gonna do is come to color we have color correct here drop it to the editor connect from out okay let me let before I do that let me make sure the window is within is visible even just a little part of it okay connect out here main diffuse and wait while you notice everything became black uh, everything became black because the input here input of the color correction here is is black so we need to change this all back to white so that it regains its original color yeah looks nice okay now I can play around with the color correction let me make it mm, just increase the contrast a little okay and the exposure I need the exposure to be slightly yeah the exposure is up mm, it's too bright too bright this looks okay the exposure looks okay to me let's just increase it a little let's make it one point no that's too high let's make it one point mm, one point six somewhere one point six three oh uh, let's see yeah that looks okay to me so what we're gonna do i want to increase some light into this scene so we can change the the intensity of the light we can increase it up a little see what happens just increase it up a little is it anywhere close to this almost yeah that looks okay to me looks okay to me looks pretty pretty okay to me nice 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 okay let me see well that looks okay so uh what we're gonna do next is uh just make a final render okay let's increase this a little up so that i can see a wider angle of yeah that looks okay so uh, let's let's uh, do a final render okay let's just close this window so let's go to our render settings Arnold render settings we can increase the camera AA samples this takes care of all this we can increase this let's make it let's make it five yeah let's just then do a final render see how it looks like
Well, there it is. It's done rendering. As you can see, it looks nice. Okay. There's one thing I wanted to, I forgot to mention. I should have told you guys. Uh, over here, uh, the network editor. You can always change your bump height. When you click here, you can see on the bump shader, you can see there's a bump height. You can always change your height from here. Any any time you want to change your height, you can change it from here. Okay. Well, that's it. Looks nice. Uh, hope to see to meet you guys again. Uh, I'm planning to make more Cinema 4D and Arnold render tutorials. So you guys can always just subscribe. I'll be doing this almost uh, every week. Okay. So bye for now.